Hello? If you were to ask me how's my life going right now, this is a good representation. I can safely say it's been a hot minute since I brought up <laughs> the pancake mix. I can't talk to me. There goes my alarm. See, that was the time I was meant to wake up, but I woke up like way before that. <laughs> Shake the bottle for one to two minutes. Where's the lid? Oh, the thing wasn't even. The thing wasn't even powered on. Also, don't mind the sink, it's really... See, it's my job to do the sink, but there's a time of day where I stop coming downstairs and I just stay upstairs, so my chores get left undone, but usually I do it. You know what? I'm gonna do it right now. I'm gonna do it right now. Wait, I'm gonna do that little transition thing that YouTubers do. Like... Voila. So the pancakes have been made. I'm thinking for toppings, I'm gonna put banana, some hazelnut spread. Yeah, let's let's do that. For a second, I forgot why I brought out the chopping board, but then I remembered because we're cutting up a banana. Bruh. This reminds me of that time when I went to the pancake parlor with my mom in Sydney, and I got the best Nutella pancake. Ah, <sighs> good time. Huh, someone wants to come in. Surprise these bananas have lost so long. Got them like a week ago. Yeah, so they are gonna turn in the limelight. Look at them, beautiful. Just beautiful. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I'm not really sure where the direction of this video will be headed, but someone did suggest to me a while ago now to do like a mental health catch up sort of thing. So I thought that'd be a good idea just to, cause I like to keep things real and honest and authentic on my channel. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be real with each other. Quite a lot has happened since the filming of my last vlog, which was January? January this year, I think. I don't remember. It was a while ago. So I went back to school a couple of weeks ago. It's like it's week five of school. This coming week will be week five of school. It's been pretty hectic. Got a heap of assignments, a lot of study to do for my upcoming exam. So it's pretty overwhelming. Also, I've joined like a debating team at school, like a national, it's like, it's not a national thing. It's a state debating thing, which is known to be very stressful, but I thought, why not? I really need to improve my debating skills. We all know how bad I am at arguing and proving my point. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. And I've just not had a lot of free time, except for the weekends. So yeah, hence why I'm making this video, because I thought I'd take this opportunity before things get even more hectic to catch up with you guys and let you catch up with me. So in terms of mental health, well, I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, my grade's pretty good, so that's good. In terms of fitness and health, I'm gonna be honest, it's pretty stagnant. Been pretty stagnant lady. Lady? <laughs> Lately. I haven't made a lot of progress in my lifts. My lifts feel hard every time I do it, and I get sore pretty often too. So I'm just trying to figure out. See, this is the thing about not tracking, is that you have no idea. You have to listen to yourself, but what if yourself can't be trusted then what do you do i mean i have a nutritionist but she didn't really provide a lot of guidance and yeah um i mean i prefer not to track because i have so much more freedom now and i let people cook for me which can be scary sometimes but in the end it's so worth it because my mom is a great cook it's so relieving not having to worry about oh my gosh have i hit my protein goal today how many carbs have i had today how much fat have i had today how much fiber you know it's like just think about our ancestors right they didn't worry about all this and they were fine that's what i tell myself it was also holding me back just the numbers and the adding you feel like you're trapped well i felt like i was trapped 
and I just wanted to break free, quote queen. And I'm glad that I took that step. Some days I was like, I want to go back because I wanted to, I didn't feel safe. But I thought that's just letting the negativity win and your irrational thoughts win. And life is too short to be doing math first thing in the morning. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not going back to that. Some people ask me if I can be, will compete. And I'm like, no, I don't plan to have my life revolve around fitness. I'm not going to become a PT. I'm not going to become a bikini gal or whatever. I'm not doing any of that. I'm just not interested at all. In fact, as time goes on, I'm noticing I'm like, my interests are changing. Like they're evolving. For example, horses. I used to love horses. I used to love horse riding. I've got a whole cupboard full of horse riding gear. And I'm like, I really want to go horse riding. I told my mom that. But then I realized like a week later, I remembered I didn't go horse riding. And I'm like, I don't think it's that important to me anymore. You know, some days I forget horses exist. Right. So that's something. And also with fitness, it's just dumbbells to me. I don't do anything else and they're only quick sessions. I don't go to the gym, as most of you know, and so I don't think I really deserve the appellation of a fitness girl because most of the time I'm a couch potato. It's just my interests are held elsewhere. So yeah, I think one day this account, I don't know, maybe we'll see. I think this is just gonna be a general platform, like just an outlet of my thoughts and, cause I'm still like on a journey sort of, still trying Journey to self-appreciation. I don't know. Love? Something like that? I mean, I like getting- I like lifting weights, so not just dumbbells. So I guess fitness journey still, sort of. It just doesn't play a big part of my life. It's very minimal. But I know people would not care about my writing <laughs> or my art, so can't really showcase that at the moment. And I'm not really a prolific artist, anyway. That's pretty much all I have to say. Pretty much all that can be said about my mental state. I hope everyone is feeling okay and if you ever need to talk then you can talk to me and if I've ignored you for whatever reason on DMs or whatever then it's for a reason. A very good one. But if you ever need to vent or something then I'm always here. Well most of the time. Maybe my phone is dead or downstairs and I'm upstairs you know but I'm always here. If you ever need to talk just letting you know. So yeah, I had the pancakes. They were, they were, <coughs> they were, okay. What made them good was the hazelnut spread. But you know, it's got protein in it, so that's great. And then I did some editing of my previous vlog, which I'm yet to upload. By the way, I've been watching some Linda Sun lately and I'm not really into her stuff because she's kind of hammy, but, and repetitive, but her editing skills just are impeccable. Oh my gosh, she is so talented. And also, what's her name? Olivia DeAndre? Yeah, that girl. Her videos were very depressing, but her editing, chef's kiss. So it just, I just realized how sloppily edited my own videos are. And I'm, I just think, how much effort have they put into their videos? And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna put more effort into this. I'm not just gonna cut the clips, add some music, add some text, and then boom, I'm done. No, I'm going to put serious effort into this. I'm not just gonna half work at it. I'm going to follow their example, pump out the best content you guys have ever seen from me, relatively speaking. So yeah, that's the plan. But then my laptop died. So it's currently charging. So I will catch you guys when I'm doing something more interesting. And I think this is pretty exciting. We're going to be making slice today. Zucchini slice. And if you don't know what that is, you are an uncultured swine. Damn. Cheers. Oh, wrong way. I have made some progress on reading. I'm finally on to the last book of this chaotic series. I literally just remembered I forgot to brush my teeth. I should go do that. Can't believe I forgot to brush my teeth. Also, while I was brushing my teeth, I noticed that I've got a weird, mysterious yellow stain on my sleeve. You can't really see it, but it's wait, come on. Anyway, so yesterday I got and finally got a new quilt cover for my bed because I've had this one for like eons. So yeah, it's Mickey Mouse. 
and you guys are gonna help me get ready for a transformation in three, two, one. Look at it. Isn't it glorious? The only problem is my bed doesn't have any sheets because the sheets that were there previously had been there for over a year so I thought it was time since I was getting rid of the yellow cover I thought it was time to maybe swap them now doesn't that say a lot about me ah <sighs> this is great this like reminds me of my childhood when I went on the Disney cruise and Disney land to Disneyland with my mom when I was five. Good times. You know, there is a slim chance that we might be going to Disney World this year. I don't know, still in the talks. But yeah, I said to mom in the car, I'm gonna sleep so much better knowing that Mickey's all over me. And then I just realized how disturbing that actually sounds. Because health. Yes, it is that time of day, my friends. Today, it's quads and calves and a little bit of glutes. And I think I left my drink bottle downstairs. So we walked the dogs and then went to get some stuff because I have to ship a package on eBay. And I think my mom's going to do the garden and then we're going to be making a zucchini slice. And if you haven't Googled it by now, zucchini slice is like a quiche, but better. Mom used to make it for me all the time as a kid. So it's like really nostalgic for me and it tastes really good. And this time I'm going to be doing most of the work because mom's tired, I guess. But it's cool. It's not hard, so she's just gonna be taking care of like the oven and stuff because I'll probably burn the house down, knowing me. Also, in the meantime, I'm gonna be doing some editing of my previous video, and yeah, while eating these apple slices. So see ya in a hot minute.
You film you putting it in? No, you do this. Boom. Wait. Boom. Sorry, was that? So here we have our beloved zucchini slice. Mm. Oh my gosh, the memories. Surely you people know me enough well by now. Surely you people know me well enough by now to know that I cannot finish a day without having some ice cream. Protein ice cream. Twenty-one. This is protein ice cream with 21 plus grams of protein per top. When, it was funny, when my mom had some of this, she was like, what is that? Oh, shit. And then there's just me who's like, this is great. <laughs> it really says something. I'm immune to protein. I'm an unreliable opinion because I'm just used to protein everything. I can't tell if something, if a protein thing is good or not. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. No, you're not subscribed then. I'm really confused. Also follow me on Instagram, comment, I don't know, something, something nice preferably. I hope you all are having an amazing day or night and I shall see you in the next one.